everyone. It's time to set the record straight on what homeowners really need in their tool sheds. Carson shows us the new tech that we need and the vintage must-haves that are always going to help us with our outdoor yard work. So you always bring the new shiny tools. Fun stuff, right? The fun stuff. So there's a reason why we're doing this today. So yes. new numbers are coming out for North America showing that 40% of the housing market right now across the whole continent yeah. is all people under the age of 35. Oh. And they have absolutely no idea what they're doing when it comes to outdoors. Right, so they're, <laughs> no. they're like me. <laughs> well, no, and I, and I want to be fair. We have a lot of millennials who are now investing in outdoor spaces. Yes. And they want to garden and they want to grow things and they want to do it. Mm -hmm. So I want to show people how to do it properly because there's a lot of new stuff coming out. Okay. But a lot of old stuff too. So let's talk the vintage style first. Yes. What I find amazing is millennials are spending money on gardening tools mm -hmm. like never before. And the good stuff, the they're quality stuff. good stuff, stuff absolutely. So some of these products here, these secateurs and that hori hori knife, they come in from Japan. Oh, these? So, yeah, absolutely. So wow, we're seeing wow. a lot of samurai sword level material. Yeah. These types of things, yeah, these are over $100. That hori hori knife, that's a Lee Valley product. Again, very high quality, wow. but they're investment pieces. These are lifetime tools. Yeah. I love that millennials are doing that. Right. But as we're bringing in things from overseas, we're also starting to see some stuff that I have never seen before. Okay. Like that. You've never seen this before? What would you do with that? <laughs> I don't know, make a pancake? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so this is out of the Netherlands, a company called Sneebauer, and they've been around since 1913 making gardening tools. We're just starting to see them in North America now. That's actually a perennial spade. Mm. But even tools like this one here, I'm going to lift this up. Okay. This is their version of a hoe. So what I love about it is they're <laughs> introducing new techniques to actually garden that we've never seen before. Okay, nice. They're addressing things that we haven't even touched. Here's yeah. another one that I absolutely love. No, it's not for picking out your teeth. This is for cleaning <laughs> out the stones between the patio. Oh, we smart. need this, absolutely. You flip it over on that side, you can scrape out the weed. So That's this is the cool. type of stuff I love seeing, but the price points are much higher as a result. Because they're good quality tools. They're exactly. very good quality tools. So the demand is there. Um, we're seeing from younger people coming up, they want quality first right off the, right from jump. 100%. They want to buy good quality things that they're going to have for life. And I think that there's a, there's, that's good. I think it's great you know, too. that's a good thing. So women though, are doing more of the jobs than ever before outdoors. Right. Maybe not your uh, household. Forever. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Like not in my house, not in your but house. in forever in the world. Yes, we do yeah. more. So younger homeowners, a lot of women are taking on the jobs of cutting grass and string trimming and, and some of the safety issues are completely being missed. We're seeing a huge uh. rise on safety stuff around women in outdoors. Okay. So I'm really pushing the idea that people need to start investing in gear that are specifically designed for women. Gardening gloves that are made for women. These safety safety boots specifically for a woman's foot. Okay. Yeah, which is fantastic. So instead of buying a smaller size boot, right. you're actually getting a boot that is fitting your foot. Now this one's okay. from a company called Royer, but I love the idea that they're now fitting your needs. Right. So right? so it, it, does it have a steel it toe? It is completely like, what is it? Is a completely oh, it's a beautiful safe. Boot. Yeah, completely steel toe. So it is safe and oh, it's wow. comfortable and you can use it in the summertime when you're using those outdoor jobs. That's good. Yeah, I love That's that. That's very good. Um, grass seed. <laughs> Everybody gets all excited about this time of year. They want to yes. get out and look after the lawn. New homeowners get it wrong every single time. Right. They always look at the front of the bag, all the things that say sun, shade, all the different mixes. Really mm -hmm. important, but I want you to start paying attention to the back of the bag. And I'm going to okay. show you right here, there's an ingredients list. Okay. Yeah, we never look at the ingredients list on the back of a grass bag. But the reason why we want to look on that is because it has blends of different seeds. Mm -hmm. We now know, especially in North America, that having blends of grass seed in the colder states or in North of Can in Canada, mm -hmm. uh, it's better for your lawn because the bugs don't always eat the same type of grass seed. They mix oh, it so up. Blended. So, so blended. So they should be blended. So much better. So when you're buying your grass seed, go sunshade, but also look for those ingredients. That's Blends good to are know. really important right now. Absolutely. Okay. okay. Blend it up. When it comes to choosing power tools. Mm -hmm. Now, we always go out and we pick tools based on the job that we're doing. Mm -hmm. So this is a hedge trimmer. Yep. Great. I need that. I go get that. Yeah. But instead of buying power tools based on the actual job, you should be buying the power tool based on the battery platform. Oh, that really? sounds a little weird, yeah, but the batteries are more important or almost as important as the tools themselves mm -hmm. because the battery platforms are interchangeable amongst the tools. Here's why this is so important from an environmental side of things. Mm -hmm. As we see more and more design going into the batteries, we're also seeing recycling programs going behind them. So yeah. this battery goes into the trimmer, it goes into the leaf blower. We're seeing all kinds of that technology going into it, making these significantly more environmentally friendly than any of those gas power tools. Got it. Right? So we're seeing brands like Craftsman coming into Canada. Yep. They're from all over the north or um, all over the US. Yep. Same thing applies. Your battery 
actually goes from your drill to yep. your outdoor tools to everything that you're doing, even things like your radio like that. Okay, so one battery for all one of it. One battery for all of it. So pick your platform first and then buy the tools to add to it. Very cool. 